I Like My Women the Way I Like My Coffee, starring Pam Greer. Wait. Watch it, Alan. I'm shooting. Coffee. This is the end of your rotten life, you motherfucking dope pusher! Coffee stars Pam Greer, who's become known as the queen of black exploitation cinema. Her career started in women in prison movies. She was in Women in Cages, The Big Doll House, The Big Bird Cage, and Black Mama, White Mama. She worked with Jack Hill, one of my favorite directors. He's the one who cast her in Doll House and Bird Cage. The two of them got together to create one of the most iconic black exploitation films. What are you doing? Put that down. You want to spit on me and make me crawl? I'm going to piss on your grave tomorrow. Coffee is a one-woman hit squad. She discovers that her little sister has gotten addicted to drugs, so she's out to get revenge on the greedy drug pusher who got her addicted. She's not just after him. She vows to go to the very top of this drug organization and burn the whole thing to the ground. Wouldn't you want to kill somebody who had done a thing like that to your little sister? Sure would. Then you think it'd be right? Without question, Pam Greer is the reason to watch this movie. Her charisma, her sex appeal, her all-out badassery. Is badassery a word? Oh, Meg, you don't have any salad. <laughs> Pam Greer, as coffee, is one of the first badass women in film. She set the stage for other strong women in black exploitation: Cleopatra Jones, TNT Jackson, Sugar Hill, Velvet Smooth. But she wasn't just influential to black exploitation. I like to think that we wouldn't have Furiosa, The Bride from Kill Bill, Ray from the new Star Wars movies, or even Ellen Ripley if it weren't for coffee. I'll also give credit to Russ Meyer's Faster Pussycat Kill Kill for creating strong women in film. And of course, Wonder Woman. What really sets Coffee apart from other heroines in film is the fact that she's more relatable than other female action heroes. She isn't some skilled assassin, or superhero, or some hot model by day, vigilante by night. She's the everywoman. She's a nurse, an average working person. Audiences were able to connect with her because she got up every morning and went to work, just like most of us. Hey, Coffee. Hey, baby. Oh, Carter. <laughs> so a lot of women can watch her and say, hey, if she can be strong, independent, and sexy, so can I. The villains are the kind of villains you love to hate. Some of them are racists, which is the case in many black exploitation films. They get pretty intense, and there are times where you don't know how Coffee is going to beat them, which is a good thing because it makes it all the more satisfying when she overcomes the odds. You're luckier than most people that gotta go out. This is just about the nicest way to do it. The main villain is played by Alan Arbus. He's most known for playing Dr. Sidney Friedman in M.A.S.H. He was a lot nicer in M.A.S.H. Sid Haig is also in this movie as one of the lackeys. He was in a lot of Jack Hill's movies. Sid Haig always plays a good scumbag. Yeah. I just want you to know that, personally, I think it's a damn shame to let a good piece like you go to waste. The violence is that over-the-top violence you want in an exploitation film. When you watch this, you know you're watching an exploitation film. One of my favorite scenes is when Coffee is trying to escape her captors, so she books it across the highway. I'll admit that when it comes to Pam Greer movies, I'm a bigger fan of Foxy Brown, but Coffee is a classic when it comes to black exploitation films and grindhouse cinema in general. 
If you're a fan of exploitation movies, this is a must. Now let me ask you, who's your favorite badass woman in film? I'm sure I've asked that question before, but what the hell, here it is again. This is your buddy Justin, here to remind you that the Grindhouse will never die. Let me try that opening line one more time. I like my women the way I like my coffee. Served with two sugars, a little milk, and a little foam on the top. I just can't pull that off, can I? 